Hello and welcome to Fitzgerald's Garden of Goodies. I'm your host, Sheba. And we're here in the garden. And today is National Plant of Flower Day. So I'm going to be planting flowers today. And I just want to talk to you a little bit on why flowers are good for your garden. If you're new to my channel, thank you for joining me and thank you for um, watching the video. If you like what you see, please go ahead, click the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. And that flag just flew right in my face. miss a video if you click that bell okay and if you're already a subscriber you rock <laughs> thank you for being a subscriber okay so listen we are planting flowers today is march 12th and march 12th is national plant of flower day not seeds but a flower and we're going to be planting these babies lowe's had a lot of these on clearance so i got some pansies and um a few others got some marigolds that i'm going to be planting and uh let's get started right talk about what i am mixing so what's in here in my big wheelbarrow and i just want to mix it up a little bit i put some eggshells in Wow, they didn't even put eggshells, eggshells. I put some coffee grounds for the nitrogen. This is compost. This is manure, egg manure, as well as a little topsoil and some dirt. And yeah, that's what we're mixing up today because we're getting ready to go up here and plant some flowers. Okay, once I finish mixing this, we'll head up the hill and we'll get to planting, okay? Now, why do we plant flowers? Flowers are great because they bring pollinators. We want bees, we want butterflies, we want hummingbirds. We want those because your corns, your tomatoes, you know, everything needs pollinating. And flowers. So, um, on my website, which is www.fitchgerrellsgardenofflowers.com, I posted a blog on there talking about my favorite six flowers. I'll go over those with you now. We'll start with number six. Now, I put this little guy on number six list because it attracts the Japanese beetle. And those are zinnias. I know a lot of people love planting zinnias. They are beautiful, but they attract a Japanese beetle. And the Japanese beetle will eat your, eat your crop. But they are good um aphids like them so you know some other things that really like them that they attract number five um on my list are sunflowers i love sunflowers sunflowers are great because um great adding those to your garden because you can use sunflowers to trellis <laughs> you can use your sunflowers as a trellis for your climbing plants so don't forget that. Um, number four. Here, right here, is some bee balm. It's kind of dormant right now, but this is my little fuzzy patch of bee balm. And when the bees, oh my gosh, bees love bee balm. <laughs> Hence the name, bee balm. So, have that guy on my number four list and what do I have on number three my um let me see I got bee balm my number three on my number three list is barrage oh my gosh now I got barrage growing it's, it's not big yet and barrage is kind of bushy but I got some bar uh, barrage growing that's a bonus flower because not only can't not only does it bring the pollinators you can eat 
You can um, eat the flowers. You can eat, what you doing? Ah, okay. That's a guess. But um, barrage is a flower that you can, you can eat flowers as well as the, um, the stand. It's an edible flower. So that is, what did I say? Three. We got uh, zinnias. We got zinnias, sunflowers, bee balm, barrage, and number five. Or going down, not up. So my my what is it? Six, uh, six, four, three, and my number two, sternums. I love nasturtums. Nasturtums. Hey. Interplant nasturtums. Nasturtums are great for aphids. Aphids love nasturtums. So they will help keep your brassicas. Plant them near pellets. Plant them near your mustards. Nasturtums are great because aphids love them. White flies too. They'll keep them away. Now, what I want to say is my ultimate number one, and they don't get enough credit. You see those? I don't think they get enough credit. These are marigolds. Marigolds are my number one pick for your garden to add flowers, okay? Marigolds are great because they do two things. They help on top of the ground as well as up under the ground, okay? So on the top, they keep rabbits away. Rabbits don't cross that line if they see some marigolds. They don't fool with this flower. Also, they, um, they're perfect because they release a chemical, and that chemical kills. So adding marigolds will be beneficial ways to your garden. And that was my top six flowers you should be including. Um, what else are we going to talk about? Um, herbs. I want you to incorporate some herbs. Herbs are beautiful when they flower. Um, herbs smell amazing. Have you smelled lavender growing in a garden? Ooh. <laughs> Yummy. Um, chamomile. Chamomile. German chamomile to be exact. It's great. It fights off um, it's a repellent. It doesn't fight off anything. It's a repellent. So it repels unwanted pests. So um, I'm going to get to planting and I'll be back. Thank you for tuning in to Fitzgerald's Garden of Goodies, where today is March 12th and it is National Plant of Flower Day. And I have several that I will be planting today. And if you're on Facebook, join us at Plant the Seed Gardening Group. Join us and you'll see some of those plants that I plant today. I'll show those in the group as well as some live videos as well. Thank you again for tuning in. And if you're on the web and you're looking for seeds, I'm your girl. I have some great variety of seeds. I got that white sage. If you're in the smudging, don't buy it anymore. Grow it. Okay? It's your girl Sheba signing out at Fitzgerald's Garden of Goodies. Come get fresh. <laughs>